Welcome back to Lamb's Cryptoverse. If you believe in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, then you believe in Metcalf's law, would you, would you know it or not? Metcalf's law, as you can see here, is a concept started from the founder of 3Com that invented uh, Ethernet back in 20, 30 years ago. It basically says that in a network, a computer's network is as value, valuable as a square root, as a square of the number of nodes in the network. In other words, the more nodes or users you have, the much greater the value of the network. So now, if we believe in that, we need to check out what's going on with um, fees. And if you look at DeFi Llama, we're seeing that there's been a 67% decline in uh, total value locked across all chains, including Ethereum, which is obviously the majority of the total value locked. So that looks really bad. So how could we have uh, Metcalf's law adhering and Bitcoin being true to its historical uh, precedence when we see a 67% decline in total value locked? And here's what the key point is. It's this, that total value lock is declining because there, there's less liquidity in the market. So there's less money slushing around. And basically there's the lower gas fees slushing around in Ethereum and other networks. So that reduces the dollar value of what's going on in the networks. However, and here's a key point, just because total value lock is declining doesn't mean there are fewer users. And if you look at uh, Facebook's recent report, they had one of the, the biggest revenue declines in history, but the total number of users actually went up. And we're seeing the same thing. If you go to Bitcoin here and you look at this, this log, I like to use log charts. Over uh, the history of Bitcoin, the number of, t of addresses, and it's true that some duplicitous addresses, but overall, if you look at the total number of addresses over time, it's gone up in a smooth fashion. So we haven't seen a decline in that. So this is the number one thing to look at, the total number of addresses. There are other things you could look at. The glass node likes to show this one, which is lightning network capacity. Uh, if you see a highlighted here, it says that the lightning network is a good gauge of expanding network's effect, effects. I'm not sure if that's the case because to me, capacity has nothing to do with the number of addresses and transactions on the network. But according to Glassnode, it is a measure of network. So either way, it's showing that the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency networks are alive and well. And let's go to Ethereum with an exponential chart of active addresses. You can see once again, there's been a, a smooth curve. But yes, there's been some flattening towards the end. And, uh, but otherwise, it's, it's been pretty good. So this is the important thing to look at, not total value locked. Remember, total value locked has more to do with uh, gas fees, right? For MF NFTs, for example, rather than how many people are using the network. So people are still using the network. So if you're a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency believer, then what you have to believe in is that the network of Bitcoin keeps getting adopted over time. And I like to show this rainbow chart here. This chart here shows you, going back to 2012, the overall increase in uh, Bitcoin prices using a log scale. And as I said earlier, if you believe that the network effect is still working, then what you wanna do is buy Bitcoin and crypto alongside it at the lowest prices possible. And according to some observers, we're at least one to nearly two standard deviations lower than the average price for Bitcoin. If you look here in this chart, we hit the blue territory, which is basically a, what they're calling a fire sale. So that's all for today. So what I want to sum up as a takeaway is number one, in order to determine if you're a true believer of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, you need to decide if the network is still growing. And I say yes, because the number of addresses has not declined. 
And if so, where are we in terms of that long-term uh, pricing curve? And you can see here from the rainbow chart, we're near the bottom. So this is a good time to accumulate Bitcoin at lower prices. So remember, this is still a bear market. I think prices are going to go up only short term because once stock prices go down, they're going to push down the price of, of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But for right now, this is still a good point, a good area to accumulate. So thank you once again for joining us at Lamb's Cryptoverse. And please, please, please hit the like button, subscribe and check out our other, our other videos. Thank you.